Hello guys, today I'll be putting you through on how I made this beautiful double colored hat. Stay tuned. So here are my materials. I have the mold, the brim and the crown. So we go ahead and rubbing Vaseline on the already wrapped mold. And then I'll be wrapping the brim with the double cinnamon. To make it stronger, so I'm doubling the cinnamon to wrap the brim. To wrap this, I'll first hold the four corners of the mold with the cinnamon, and then I use the pin to hold it down. After this, I will be securing every part of it tightly with the pin so that it will form the shape of the mold. As you can see here, I'm dragging it tight and smoothly before pinning it down so that I will have a very smooth work. Please subscribe to this channel, like, share this video. Please, I beg you, more tutorials will be coming your way. So I'm almost done pinning it round. As you can see, next I'll use a rope to tie it against the pin to be sure it is very, very smooth. I'll tie it tightly against the pin. So this is the crown. I'm using a different color of cinnamon. But this time I'm using a single cinnamon unlike the brim where I used the double I used double cinnamon. So I will be securing the four corners as usual and afterwards I will drag it tightly to be sure it is very smooth. This is the finished one. Also tie with rope to secure it tightly and smoothly. So here is my stiffener. I will be diluting it with water. And I will be using the brush to rub it against the already molded cinnamon. Diluting it to avoid it covering the holes, which beautifies the heart. So I'll go ahead to apply it on the crown. I'll make sure I apply it all around. The crown. You have two options. Either you use a hand dryer to dry it, or you leave it in the sun for 20 Here we are. It is dried already. So I'm going ahead to remove it from the mold. And then remove the nylon, place it back for ironing. So I'll go ahead to iron on them without the nylon. So right now I am done ironing. I'll go ahead to remove them from the mold. And then place the crown on the center of the, of the brim. And then use the chalk to outline it, to mark it. After this, I also mark like an inch inside or half an inch inside. This is where I'll be trimming it from. And now I'm going ahead to trim off the excesses. After this, I will also trim from my marked area. As you can see. Then I'll go ahead to notch the remaining parts against my original mark. Because after this, I'll get a wire to hold the brim, the main brim of the brim. A wire that is equal to it, or I'll measure it to get a wire and then tie it. I use the fishing line to tie the wire. And then I place it in between the S's 
So I'm cutting out a cinnamon. This cinnamon will be used for edging. I'll go ahead to fold both sides inwards to avoid it slitting. And then firstly, I'll use the gum, the UHU gum, to hold it on the brim. Secure it round. The cinnamon didn't reach it because I didn't measure it. So I'll be cutting another cinnamon to complete it. The next thing I'll do is to attach the crown to the brim from the already rough edge. I am attaching the crown to the brim using the fishing line. As you can see, so I'll do this round the hole. When I'm done, I'll trim off the excesses to a point, not to a very lower point, so that I can fold in there with a bias or a Peter Shaw. <laughs> I am here to hold the pin that I want there in the center. I'm saying I should make it very I have already applied the little gum to it. Thank you for watching, and here is your heart. I hope it's beautiful. Please, your comment. Your comments are welcome on the comment section. Thank you. See you in my next video. Bye.